And I've been on an amazing, awesome adventure with God. And when Jonathan was talking the other night about coming out of prison, God spoke to my heart about that sometimes there are some of us spiritually that are in prison, and whether we're in Sambo Creek or in the States, that we need to open our hands to serve because there are people that are in their own prison that need to be released. Amen. Amen. Amazing group. And We've I'm been so proud of guys. each and every one of you guys. There are times that things aren't perfect. There are times that things are difficult. I haven't heard one person complain. Um, I, I feel like, I almost feel guilty, like we've been dropped in paradise here <laughs> to do a job. And, you know, but God made everything here. God made everything here. The ocean, the trees, the flowers, the sand, I mean, the sun, the stars, everything. And everything he makes is beautiful. Yes. And you know, Debbie, I was, I, most of you know, I've been to Haiti several times many years ago, and I got out of doing mission work, and if I hadn't been for Debbie coming to church and just being bold and, and offering this yeah. mission work in Honduras, I wouldn't be here today and renew my heart for missions. And something I was called to do many years ago, and I did it for four or five years, and then I just kind of drifted away and fizzled out. So if it wasn't for Debbie, and we knew each other 30 some years ago, yeah. we didn't I even walked, worked recognize for each my other first my until we figured it out. But it was it's just amazing how God can work and take each of us individually really with different nice. situations and yet share the gospel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want to say something. Um, my time here in Tacoa and Sambo Creek has really impacted my life, and I feel like God is calling me to come to come to Honduras and this be my life. And the Bible says, "Christ my life," and to live is Christ, and that's what I feel like is going on here. And blessed to have come, so I'll be glad to come back. The waters are stirring. Jump in. <laughs> Anybody else? Come on, share your blessings. All right, cool. Be glad you did. I know there's somebody in the waiting. This, are you, no, no. He's, he's just stretching. Okay. He's just stretching. I want to say something about Wednesday night. The Wednesday night church time. Uh, that's the closest example I've ever experienced of, that is Acts in the Bible. I never thought I would witness that on earth, and so thank you. Thank you for allowing us to come into that, and I just, it was just beautiful. The place is beautiful, but the people even more beautiful, and I'm so grateful to have been able to experience this. Amen. And that's the heart, heart and soul of what MBK is doing, and that, that, that drives all the rest of that. You know, the reason, the, 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 the uh, example, the testimony of of the church and its freedom, mm -hmm. you know, and they're growing that, they're growing that as long as we Americans learn to keep our hands off of trying to make it go a certain way, yeah. allow them to express themselves through their own culture, through their own songs, with all those drums and instruments mm -hmm. and yes. mm -hmm. their different customs and ways of doing things, allow that to be part of the church, embrace yeah. that, don't try to change that like right. we want to do as Americans, cookie right. cutter little pews and mm -hmm. little church yeah. buildings. Isn't that cool to have a, have a meeting of, in, of the church in the streets? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. awesome. You know? yeah. What witness? Yeah. Yeah, and everybody That's in the village see, sees and hears about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, those drums, not hear they the can music. hear those, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and people look around the corners. I mean, I've seen that last year. They were looking around the corner. They're like in the yeah. background. Mm -hmm. And that testifies to them. They'll mm -hmm. see those people's lives change. And well, thanks to y'all, there's going to be empty seats now. So when people <laughs> do see it, there will be a welcoming. It's not like they're going to not think. They can't just come in. We got a good testimony last night about that neighborhood that it used to be called Pingalia or something like it. Basically, it's a demon's name. And that, that whole neighborhood was into witchcraft and a lot of different stuff. And uh, I don't ever even pay attention to it. You know I mean? so, so until you're hearing testimonies from people sometimes, you don't realize how much of an impact God is making. It's one thing if everybody's still kind of good-natured <clears throat> people and, you know, then they get a little bit of God, but to take something from darkness and then God's got being able to shine it is pretty awesome. Well, that, that's been the thing to me that, you know, not a, the just the, the acts-like community, as you mentioned, Gigi, you know, the, it's how God intended church to be. It was sharing lives. It's not about showing up once or twice a week and church is life. And God is doing things through the secular means as well, through the school board and the, and the city government and all, all those things that's enabling this and fostering it 
across the entire community to be a, a, a mechanism, an instrument for his glory. That's amazing. You know, to me, one of the most amazing things is the fact that you now have the freedom to go into the public schools and teach about Christ. Because if you teach their minds when they're hungry and train them up, mm -hmm. as a child, will never depart. That's it's in our society, in the States, it's so uh, everybody, nobody wants you pushing your junk on them. You know what I mean? So it's like, you feel so weird to even say Jesus. Yeah, just to be in mountain public. Like, yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Not in your church, outside of your church. Right. Yeah. But to be able to walk through the streets everywhere you go and proclaiming proclaim Christ. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, it's like. Unless you're cussing, then it's okay. Yeah. 